Hi, and thanks for joining me on the Mobile Creator YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Small Rig Mobile Video Cage for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It costs around 37 US dollars, and I'm going to tell you why I think it's one of the best mobile cages around. So let's open this box up and take a look at the video cage. On the top here, uh, we have various uh, screw points as well as cold shoes. And just looking at this lens area here, uh, it's going to enable us to make use of all three sensors on the 13 Pro Max. On the underside, you've got more threaded holes here for placing your tripods, uh, base plates, and also on the side here, we've got various points where we can be attaching such things as handles. Another cold shoe point here for maybe a microphone. We've got uh, rubberized uh, parts covering the buttons of the iPhone so you can still access your power and volume controls whilst the phone is inside the cage. Um, but let's place the phone in and see how this works. So it's all spring loaded button here uh, shown by a sort of lock, unlock. So that opens that up. You can see that there's a rubberized uh, surround that protects the phone as we slide that in. So let's just place that down there for a moment. We get a nice little click to let us know that's secure. So now our phone and the lens is not going to slide around at all. That is a nice snug fit. Uh, so now we can be quite confident that we can place our lenses to this. So let's if we wanted to take, for example, just a moment, anamorphic lens, for example, and screw this in. Uh, we can only use one of the top two phone sensors. Uh, we couldn't use the ultra wide, for example, with a bayonet mount, but we can use uh, a filter using a Moondog Labs uh, multi-camera filter mount attachment, which I shall show you in a moment. But let's just place this in. So we're just lining this up at 90 degrees. And it is quite a snug fit. So we just twist that 90 degrees. Now our anamorphic lens is nicely attached. That's not going anywhere. We could take possibly uh, moment filter mount and then place that over the top and then place our ND on top of that as well. This is an example. But if we were to go down the route where we don't want an additional lens over the top of our sensor, as pretty much these wide sensors are amazing now on the 13 Pro Max, we might just want to have a variable ND filter whilst we're out shooting. So we can place our Moondog Labs multi-camera filter mount. This is the version 2A that was compatible with the 12 Pro Max. And to my eyes, it seems that this works nicely with the 13 Pro Max and this cage. So it does get a little bit snug as there's a rubberized section here, but that's actually no bad thing. Uh, it means that your pricey bits of glass aren't going to end up on the floor. So take that as far as it needs to go. And then in my case, because this is a 52 mil uh, thread, I need to upsize this to 77 mil for my variable ND. It's over there. So now I have my cage with my phone ready to shoot with my uh, variable ND filter on the top here. Very secure, I'm quite happy. I could be on a gimbal, I could be going for a run. 
that's not going to fall off. Um, so that's really important to me to protect your bits of kit. Next then we could mount this possibly to a tripod. So let's just take this underside and screw that into the bottom there. So now just bringing this back into shot um, now. So we've got the rig attached with my tripod base plate. This would take all kinds of different base plates for different tripods. You can see now that's quite happy. Uh, so really good secure method. Again, attachment point. Next then we could attach maybe a handle. So this one here, I've got again from small rig. I'm just going to uh, take this out of shot for a moment while I put this in. This is actually going to screw into one of two points on the side here, uh, which is again, very versatile. Just bringing this back into shot just while I tighten up the last few turns of this handle here. So that has threaded in nicely. So now I've got real secure hold my camera from just a fixed handle again that could be on a tripod as well but certainly for most of the handheld stuff with the built-in stabilization on the latest phone uh, i think that's going to be really really useful so final few more bits to attach would maybe be a microphone which we could possibly put on the cold shoe point on the side here and also we've got on the top here another point as well as i believe you could also attach something to the handle here as well um let's just take that out of frame once more okay so just pretty much all rigged up video light variable nd filter handle tripod base plate could you want so uh, you get a phone call might not want uh, all of that while you take the call you could obviously put it on the speaker but just to show you how easy it is to take all uh, the phone out just literally push that lock button again which would release the clamp in the case at the end there and just can gently slide out your phone take that call. So there's the case, there's the phone. I think that's what you need to see. Finally, just want to say that I've not been paid uh, or given this product by Small Rig. This is my own personal opinion. I hope it's been useful to you. If it is, please like the video, perhaps a comment below. And until next time, goodbye.